Hello everyone, this is sort of a state of the channel video, I guess you could call it. Back here, you can see I have Daily Motion, BitChute, Brideon, Rumble, and Odyssey. You can also see that with the exception of Odyssey, I have been uploading my most recent videos to these other platforms. Odyssey will catch up. What I'm trying to do, or what I was trying to do, was move my content from YouTube to these other platforms, Odyssey, etc., so that I would have diversification. The problem is there's a lot of back catalog, and I was trying to work through it, but when you have literally hundreds upon hundreds of videos, it can be a little bit difficult to get through all of that. So, given the situation with... Um, what's his name, Saren Jameson and the copyright DMCA takedown nonsense that is illegitimate, but nonetheless is going to be inconvenient for me. Um, and given that just in general I can't have a conversation in the YouTube comments, I was actually having a conversation with someone about Star Trek and racism and whatnot in on the video that I was getting uh, dogpiled on. Sorry, the uh, camera bag is all over me. <clears throat> on the video I was getting dogpiled on uh, from the Star Trek ship posting group, someone showed up and actually tried to have a conversation with me. And when they left, some nice long response explaining their positions on something, I get a YouTube studio notification on my phone. I don't even get an email. And it's gone. I looked at it almost immediately. It was gone. I told them they were censored and they came back and gave me a different comment, but the point is I can't even talk to someone on YouTube, and had I not seen that notification, I never would have known that this person had even tried to talk to me. So YouTube is, for all intents and purposes, dead for any serious, especially political, conversation. But even mundane comments are getting destroyed. YouTube has tightened down on things it has no business tightening down on, and I've gone over this ad nauseum in other videos. The censorship is unreal. You aren't allowed to talk about the 2020 election. You aren't allowed to talk about the effectiveness of vaccines and masks. Even just discussing science about them is forbidden. If that science might hint at something contrary to what certain authorities, governments and such, say. You're not even allowed to talk about it. You don't even have to agree. If you... Make a video discussing it, you can get in trouble. It has become almost like a content concentration camp. Everybody's on YouTube, but important things you can't talk about. So YouTube is very slowly but very surely dying. YouTube has always wanted for a long time to become cable television. And if you look at it, I mean, they basically are. They, they have their own TV service that replaces cable TV with YouTube as your IPTV provider. They have YouTube, uh, YouTube Red or Premium or whatever it's called this week. YouTube Originals that you can pay for. They have ads everywhere. And you can pay, at least right now you can pay to remove the ads. But, I mean, where does it stop? Where does it stop? Look, YouTube's trying to keep me from making this video. You see, they're, they're putting those little uh, things in my eyes, the little floaters, you know, or whatever. <clears throat> All right. Bottom line, I made a video about leaving YouTube. Um, I said I wasn't going to, you know, just outright leave YouTube. You can't just leave YouTube because then you're not exploiting YouTube for distribution. But this video is sort of a call out to everyone. Go find me on other platforms. I'm getting very serious about it at this point. Um, I'm, I'm tired of this crap. I'm tired of the fact that I can't really say what I think. I can't have a discussion with anyone. I can't have a discussion with people who disagree with me. That's a major problem. If I'm wrong about something, I'm not even allowed to know that I'm wrong about something. Because they get banned before they can even say anything. Now, granted, I ban people that say dumb things, but when someone actually tries to convince me that they're right, I'll at least listen to them. I'll give them that respect. I'm not being allowed to give them that respect. So I'm out. You know, I'm still going to use YouTube, but it's not going to be my primary focus anymore. I'm, I'm more than happy to take YouTube's money. 
don't get me wrong. I'm, I've got monetization. I can just cha-ching on all these videos. Fine and great. So it's a, it's a multi-pronged strategy. I'm diversifying, um, getting off of YouTube in general. As you can see, plenty of platforms. Also, um, I did, I do have a Minds account that I'm not really using yet. I uploaded the one video that the copyright guy complained about. So now he's got to play whack-a-mole with eight other websites if he wants to get it taken down. Uh, let's see. I've got Minds. Um, I, I think I have a Locals account, but I don't use it. So Minds and Locals are on my radar. The problem is... All of these websites have a different set of requirements for uploads. Like on Dailymotion, I can't upload custom thumbnails at all. So, and I think you have to be some kind of verified partner to do that. So, everything's just, you know, all these talkie videos, it's just videos of me. It's just a, a thumbnail of my head, or whatever, and it's not very meaningful compared to what I can do on other platforms. BitChute, I would say I have the richest presence on right now. Most of my back catalog of videos has made it onto BitChute, mainly because they sort of emerged as the biggest, most successful competitor for a while. Um, they have revised their uploader, which is great. I do like the new uploader, but it is still a little bit clunky. <coughs> um, BitChute is not going to be a primary focus anymore. Either. They're in the UK, they're subject to UK law. Um, there are just several problems, uh, potential problems with BitChute. I'm going to take these off because it's starting to be a pain with the light. Um, Rumble, I don't have much on. Um, kind of the same with Daily Motion, but they do seem pretty easy to upload to right now. Daily Motion, I have a limit. I can't upload more than 50 videos. I'll never hit that limit anytime soon. Um, Rumble, I only have like four or five videos up, but I'm rapidly working on fixing that. I just uploaded one before starting this video. Um, Odyssey, I started uploading back catalog to quite some time ago when it was library. I never finished, and I think what I'd like to do is with, at least with Odyssey, um, I uploaded that one copyright guy video, but I would like to do my back catalog and get it up to date. Also, friendly reminder, I do still have presence on YouTube through a couple of other channels. There's one called Jody's Spicy Takes, where all the political stuff is supposed to go. Although at this point, um, I'm not 100% sure I'm going to continue bothering with that because YouTube is... YouTube has frustrated me away from continuing to work on their platform. So I'm not sure if I even want to bother. But the political stuff supposed to go over there too. Um... I may or may not end up continuing to do it, but follow it just for kicks. I also have a channel that a lot of people don't know about. It's Jody Bruchon's... What the hell did I call it? It's like VHS and stock footage archives. I always get the ordering of the words wrong. Um, but it's... I had old VHS tapes, and I cut commercials and stuff like that off of them. <clears throat> I uploaded, like, one piece of stock footage before I realized the account wasn't verified, and so I couldn't upload long pieces of stock footage to it. So, in the stock footage regard, it's much more limited. Also, yes, um, I'm still on that tail end of a cold. I still have some congestion. I'm sorry. Um, I can't think of anything else right now. I have everything lined up here. I've got, I'm going to do a rearrangement of all the facilities. And um, this camera's actually getting taken down as soon as I get done with this video so I can start cleaning up and rearranging everything to be better for making these kinds of videos and doing better video work. Um, I'm getting more serious about this video production stuff for you guys online here. Um, the congestion's making it hard to speak. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to go. But just follow my other channels, um, follow my other platform channels. You will find links to everything relevant down below I may not have Daily Motion and all that yet, but the most important ones right now, BitChute, Odyssey, and Rumble, the biggest, they should be at the bottom of most of my recent videos. I will add links to my Daily Motion and Brideon and uh, Minds and Locals as those mature. So um, please go follow any or all of those that you can. <laughs> I understand if you can't, that's why I'm staying on YouTube for now. 
Um, but YouTube's no longer my focus, and at some point, everything on YouTube may just go poof because YouTube doesn't like people who comment on things. Um, this channel may end up going back to just being froofy little computer repair videos. I'm actually editing one right now. And I may have to take the political content down, which means it won't be here, which means you can't hear opinions from me. You can only watch me fix computers. Admittedly, not a very exciting thing. Um, at some point here soon, I'm also going to make another short film, so there's, there's something to look out for as well. Um, I have some ideas in the works that are very good, but mm, no promises. So that's the state of the channel, and I, I'm very grateful to all of you. Um, I showed you previously at the end of a video, and I want to reinforce, um, it was the video, which video was that? It was, I don't remember which video it was, but at the end of a video I showed you that I buy equipment and things to help me do my work, to make videos, um, that's what I do with your financial contribution, so if you do throw me a few bucks through PayPal, Coffee, Flatter, Subscribestar, I don't have Patreon because Patreon did some very uncool things, and I am pretty much permanently boycotting them so they can't make money. Um, although I'm so small, who cares, right? But that's why I don't have a Patreon right now. So, you know, if you, if you contribute money, it does help. Um, the people from that Star Trek shitposting group, oh boy, they sure showed me. I made like 10 bucks off their video. Yeah, I have like a thousand subscribers, but they still gave me $10 in a single day, and all I had to do was make fun of them and wait. So, I mean, you could argue that, oh boy, they sure showed me, but I mean, I'm the one who walked away with money and with the people that annoyed me being butthurt. So I don't really see how I lost that one. Anyway, thanks for your 10 bucks, all you people. Uh, for the rest of you that are at least remotely not trying to be total douchebags, I am very happy to have you here. Please follow me on other platforms. I can't wait to see you there. I'm going to stop talking. Like, comment, subscribe. You know the deal. Go to my website. Blah, 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 blah. Thanks for watching. Take care. Love you all. Good night.